So I wanted to show something that probably a lot of people don't even think about until you start riding a motorcycle. And look here on the left of the lane at those slick kind of shiny spots. And then on the right side of the lane, see these dark spots? And they go on and on. Now look at this big dark spot right there. And this is not just, you know, a wet road or moisture on the road or something, which there are some spots where that's the case. But most of what you're seeing here is a result of a, I think, a very cheap method of road surfacing, which I think is called tar and chip mostly. And so what they do is they, when they surface this road, they'll come put a layer of tar on the road and then follow that with a layer of gravel. So then over the first few days, usually, after this road has been surfaced in this manner, it's like driving on a gravel road, right? You feel the gravel, you hear it kicking up, and uh, it, the idea is though it gets embedded into the tar as the traffic drives over it. So usually after about a week or two, you end up with a okay road, right? There's gra it, the gravel's mostly gone, the the chips have embedded into that road surface and it's not too bad but the problem comes in usually within a couple of years after these roads being surfaced in this fashion is the traffic eventually will wear out the chips and I guess it pulls them out of the tar or just pushes them so far down into the tar that the tar actually in these spots becomes the road surface so you're left with these very, very slick spots when the road gets any kind of moisture on them. Those little spots become almost like ice. And so, again, you wouldn't think about this in a car. You know, you've got four wheels. One of them is going to be on a decent spot, usually. But on a motorcycle, you can get some fairly puckering moments if you hit these things when they're wet, especially you know, if you're going around a corner. So something to watch out for if if you live in a cheap county like I do, just be careful of these kind of road conditions because they will get you. And then the other kind of road conditions that really need to be pointed out are tar snakes. Right? You, you don't give these a thought again if you're in a car, four-wheel vehicle, no problem. But on a motorcycle, look at these tar snakes that are going to be on the stretch of road here. And some of them are so packed together. If you look up here, especially on the towards the edges of the road. I mean, those are not tar snakes. There's just like flat out patches of tar that they put there. And even in the dry conditions, the road is, you know, a little bit warm. You can definitely feel your bike kind of dancing around on those things. Uh, the hotter it gets, the worse they get. If you're coming around a corner and hit a patch of those things, it's probably not going to go well. And again, with them being tar, if, they, if it gets rain, any kind of moisture hits those things. Uh, they do become even slicker. And look what, these, look what these road crews have done here. I mean, if you're on a... I don't think they, they think about motorbikes, obviously. But look at the stretch here. This is just amazing. And I'm surprised there's not some kind of regulations on the way they do these. And I know I'm ranting a bit, but... I just feel like they don't really consider safety when they do this to the roads. So if you ride a motorcycle, it's something to watch out for. Thanks for watching.